All right, get out. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just uh, we just saw the advanced screening of Get Out by uh, was it is it Jordan Peele? Yeah, that, uh, yeah, the master of comedy from uh, <laughs> the shorter guy from Ken Peele, and yeah, uh, he's I mean I got us that that movie was amazing man I, I loved it I, it was just like. It was like it was more of a of a mystery uh, than a I would call horror. It was a psychological mind fuck. Mind thriller horror fucker. <laughs> but it I don't know. What do you think? Should we should we go. Are we doing spoilers on this one? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. If you got guys, uh, beware. We're gonna do some spoilers. Uh, so real quick before you turn off, if you don't want to see spoilers, fan fucking tastic, great movie. All right, you've been warned. Go. All right, start off with like let's say top half of it. Like no spoilers. Just get my thoughts on, it, and then we're gonna go hit spoiler heavy. So, great film, just like you said. Um, even though I went, you know, thinking we I think know it was going to be yeah, good. I know what's going to happen. It's had universal acclaim so far. It was like you were like, "It's that bitch," and I'm like, "It's that guy." And like, no, it's that guy, and I'm like, "No, it's that bitch." And then all of a sudden, we're all right, you know. It's all the bitches. <laughs> it was all those fuckers. But overall, I think um, I think everybody did a, a, a great job. At, at first, I thought the person playing the father was an, an actor. I, I don't remember his name. He was, he was in show, Revenge Fat. of the Nerds. He was in. Um, he was the guy from Revenge of the Nerds, Adventures in Babysitting, and uh, you know a lot, a lot of people nowadays might know him from the West Wing TV show. And he's a great actor. I love that dude. But I thought it was the guy from uh, Family Ties. I thought it was that guy, uh, uh, that father, uh, if I'm remembering the right show. Because uh, I remember seeing the trailer thinking, uh, this, <coughs> this is going to be a a crazy ass mystery and uh or just one of those M Night Shyamalan kind of a twist kind of a uh, slammer hammer ending. And it, it, it kind of was. Yeah, yeah. It kind of did. It kind of gave you like a, a mind like and I didn't and I didn't, I didn't expect it to be uh as funny as it's not a funny movie but I didn't think there are some was, definitely some funny parts to relieve the tension. Gave, exactly. That was a guy that came in at just the right moment. To try to, try Periodically to he just like drops into the movie yeah, and breaks up the and drops some funny yeah. stuff. But it uh it made me it made you know, it made you think. I heard one person's uh comments as we were leaving saying that it was it captured what bla how black people really talk and what they think very uh very well and um I gotta agree. What do you think? As a black man, what do you think? <laughs> but I, I thought I that I th I think if uh if I were to say one thing this thing I mean it did a lot very well, a lot of things very well, but uh one thing that it really builds is the is the constant building of the tension you you think you know what's going on and then it kind of throws a little loop for you and then you're like well, a whammy yeah you're like maybe i don't know what's going on yeah i i unfortunately uh i had it figured out from the beginning um the main component of it i figured uh, well i guess but that last part that yeah, last the, yeah the overall yeah. Was that you couldn't have seen that coming mm, well i just saw one main element and i was right about one thing i'll yeah. just say that um I think this guy, if he can continues to put out movies of this kind of quality, I think they ought to give him like a drama to try. You know, uh, let let him let him put out one or two. You mean more. The actor, you mean Jordan Peele? Jordan, I think if he if he because I mean I loved uh, um, the one with the Key cat, uh, Keanu, uh -huh. and I love the Key and Peele show, and I thought this was phenomenal. I haven't seen a horror movie I like this much, and oh, wow. oh man, a long but time. Blumhouse has been knocking it out the box with all with um, Insidious and. Um, when um, what's the, what's the other one? The movie with the, the people finding the, the haunted houses and um, just had a sequel. Was it paranormal? No, not the paranormal. Uh, it was the, the 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 psychic woman and her husband going in, taking you know, helping these you know, those people out. It just had a sequel. It wasn't Insidious. It was the other uh, movie, like Insidious. Remember they had the nun, uh, ghost kind of a thing. Uh, the the doll. Remember the the, the spinoff? They had a spinoff on it. it was, I think I know you're talking. Uh, uh, the, the Conjuring. Conjuring. Yeah. Oh my God! We're yeah. gonna. I'm not even gonna edit that out. That's how <laughs> stupid I am. <laughs> but uh, the because Blumhouse, I think, uh, produced those as well, and they've just been. I feel like they've been been killing it. And I uh, I reached out to a to a um, a film critic uh, named. Uh, oh damn! I'm very, here I go again with these senior moments with these uh, names. I'm seeing her face right now, and she's on Collider. She's a redhead. She's um, a horror. The host of Collider uh, Horror. She, um, I tweeted to her and I said, why is it that, um, the movie, not Drumline, the, the, the one, the, the recent, uh, 
uh, drum the movie where the the kid was on the drums and the and the guy from Spider Man Whiplash. Was, Whiplash. Why? Yeah. I'm like, I said, why did that movie push the same buttons that I that I felt? <coughs> Yeah, whiplash from, from, from a uh, from a horror. Why did I feel such a horror? It kind of did feel it? like a horror movie. And she and, and she uh, answered me back and said, "Because it was produced by Blumhouse, the same people that's been killing it with these horror movies. Man, they they've been knocking out these tense movies and whatnot. I think that's the reason why their horror movies are, are successful because they 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 mastered the tension. Um, Peel, he did a bunch of classic cliche horror stuff in this movie with the music. That yeah, thing, it was very piano. almost. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> that jump scare. <laughs> yeah, like I, you could feel everybody's pulse jump up, and then a character walks in the background, and all seems. Oh. You thought a monster was yeah, going to come yeah, out? Yeah, it's, it's something really subtle, but somebody appears in the background out of nowhere, and you're just kind of like everybody jolts like, oh, yeah, and you oh. know he did it, they did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, and, stuff, and, and then they do that. Bing! Yeah. yeah, that's a cla- bunch of classic sound effects and stuff. So you can tell he's a real student. In the so. crowd was, you could hear people saying, "Don't do it, man! Don't do it!" You know, it's like because oh, yeah. you, you, there's a lot of things you can see coming, and you're like, "Oh, don't open that door! Don't go in there! Don't walk down there! Just leave!" I can, you know, the reoccurring, the guy, "Just get the guy out!" Sitting next to you was like, yeah. "Come on, bro, be a real black man! Yeah, don't do get it! Out, don't dude. go up the damn stairs!" Like he was really like talking to the movie and stuff, and uh, I thought that was our job. We were supposed to be talking to. Him. <laughs> I'm sure we we were irritating some people because we talk a little bit during the movies. Oh yeah, that was a couple. We were in the very back corner. Oh yeah, though. So I made made sure that the sound carried. Like, don't do it, kill that bitch. (laughs) But it was. They were clapping when the villain gets killed in this, and people were all like, "Yes!" You can hear him saying, "Yes!" and clapping when she when the person finally gets their dues. And actually, there's several. They didn't start clapping until this bonehead started them off. He was like, "Yeah, all right." right." Key and Pill, all right. <laughs> Drinks, my place, all right. Everybody's like, yeah. And, but it was, uh, it was good though. I, I like the, I like the, um, I like the dialogue. I like the, um, they captured the whole interracial thing. I, I wrote this down on the, um, on a little survey thing. They, they captured the whole tension that like a lot of black uh, people might feel like if they're in an interracial relationship. About, like uh, the things that you think you might say and 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 that you would only say to the that person you might be dating or to your other friends. Like they. They blurted it out, and I was surprised that the parents even it made it so about it. awkward. Made it so much more awkward. So uh, I know, I know what you're man. thinking, my, my man, man. I know what's you, this thing. You got, you got, you got the wife, family with the black service. I hate it myself, brother. I I'd have for, voted for Obama I if he had a third term. If it would have been a choice between Obama, Hillary, and and, and Trump, I would have voted for Obama again. I'm like, dude, stop trying so hard, dude. It was making me uncomfortable for a while. Mm, and the and the, the main villain in this, it's it's like a collective villains, but the main villain is she's so devious. I'll I'll go ahead and say it's 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 a girl. She's so devious in this movie. You really really hate her by the end of the movie. Oh yeah, and when and when um our hero finally, I found it. I found it. The funny I, scene, I remember, he, he's like, look like he's comforting her, and, and she's like, oh, I love you. And it's like, mm-hmm, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, and you see his yeah, hands yeah. slowly come oh, and start, exactly. choke the bitch! I like the, I like, but I like the subtle things that, that, um, that was in this movie. I don't know if it was on purpose, and I'm probably just thinking too hard about it. And I'm gonna, maybe I'm invoking too much race in, into it. But I thought it was ironic that, uh, Cotton played a good, uh, a heavy part <laughs> Oh, uh, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even, you but see, it was the savior because you don't understand the struggle. No, the struggle was real. The cotton was the savior. It was message. Subliminal messages but inside was, the subliminal messages. All right, too. let's go to the spoilers part of it. This is it. I like fucking right. like like so that family was all fucked up. I mean, all of them were were in on it. But how could you be a a collector like a like the scout the the, the girlfriend? Yeah, so, collecting all these black guys. So let's lay the background for this guy. All right, so guys, um, this this girl, she's dating this black guy, and they're from the city, I guess it's New York City or whatever. New York. Okay. And uh, so she decides to invite him to her family's house for the holidays or whatever. I don't even think Weekends, it's, 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 yeah. it's a weekend trip. And so she, he goes with her, and immediately it gets really awkward, and we come to find out um, that their family employs a lot of the black uh, employees. Like, basically, any black person you see is treated... Like an employee in this movie, and oh, oh it's made to make it seem like that. That was yeah, much it was kind of it's kind of like that's throws not, you off yeah, a little it tur- bit. It turns out that's not what they were, but it just throws you off because that's what you kind of because that's think. what he's thinking. That's he's what, thinking, yeah, exactly, and and that's how and that, it's a it's the perfect cover if you think about it. Like, like and you you I kind of was wrong about why they were. There. So we come to find out that this family works as a a beehive, so to speak, with the queen bees running the show, and the mother of the the matriarch is a 
therapist or a psychiatrist. The second, the second that they said that, I felt like she was the she's the, the, bra- the, the she's brainwashing the, people, yeah, yeah. The, the the Darth Sidious of this this whole thing. I thought she was the mastermind of the whole thing. The second they said psychiatrist or, or therapist or whatever, I was like hypnosis. It's Those are be. some of the, some of the psychiatrist scenes are some of the most deep and. Crazy ass scenes the, in it. The way Peel depicted um, how a person feels, or when they're when they're looking through the lens of being hypnotized and whatnot, that was interesting. They push felt, you away. The, like, yeah, the, the, your, this, your eyes was a screen, and you were falling. You could see yourself. Go to the sunken place. The sinking place. I, I felt like he was dying, not being hypnotized. Well, it, it like kind of looked like, like he a, was dying. It looked like death. The dude could cry on commando. That dude shed so many tears in this movie. Dude, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He made you believe it. I mean, and, and I like the fact that. Um, that he knew he in some situations he knew he was about to be yeah he's like no he's like, no no wait wait wait, wait. She, she had this thing where she, and and, and honestly you if you were unless you have watched the movie and you knew what to look for the second time you would it's very it. gradual she's sitting there talking to him stirring because he's like what are you gonna get a pocket the, to, watch or something yeah exactly he's, he's, the second stirring. they caught that out the pocket watch thing that are you getting sleep yeah and i realized but she's I, stirring I, I, I the tea i picked it out before uh, when she because she said what we use is something like the the focus yes. while uh and, and uh, to distract you while we make you suggestive we give suggestions uh suggestive whatever the word yeah means. easily subje- the suggestive second she said that i was thinking to myself she didn't stop why? stirring She's that stirring fucking, that fucking tea she, so much. She had a teacup in her hand and she's constantly stirring. It's making like it's a that soothing, shing, that, that soothing noise. Shing, and it comes repetitive and it starts getting a little louder. And you realize, oh shit, she's hypnotizing. It's, it's something them. that you don't ever see come. I looked up one, one time. I was driving with my son, and my son just asked a random question: What would happen if all the birds disappeared? So I googled it, and one one guy said that the first thing we would notice is the silence. We've we've become so used to hearing that chirp, chirp, chirping, we block it out. You don't hear it. Until it's gone, and then it, what? That's, I think that's what happened to him. She was stirring and stirring. She, well, he wasn't she even paying really, attention. She to wasn't it. paying attention to what she was doing to him until it was already too late. And yeah, she, and she, she even said, said, "You're getting sleepy," and he's like, "No, he, no, no am I? Yeah, like, yeah. take me there." He's like, like, I can't like, move. Was it raining that day? Yeah, she's like, like yeah, "Find the rain. Find it. Did you find, find it yet?" Yeah. And he's like, "He didn't. He thought he was being smart. He yeah. thought it was." And he's thinking. Her. He's like, all right, I'll play along. And by the, by the time he decided to play along, it's like I can't move. I'm paralyzed. She's like, that's right. You're paralyzed. That's right. Yeah. Oh man, she was so and cryptic with it. And man. she's like, alright, now sink. And he's like, I don't sink. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I, I heard that, that hypnosis only works when you want it to. If you go up to the to the plate saying, I don't, mentally, I don't want to be hypnotized. Well, if you block it, it, it out. It won't, yeah, it won't work. Uh, that's what I heard. Uh, I heard that if you forcefully say, you know, I don't want this to happen, like you make yourself conscious aware of it, then it can't work on you. But if you I guess get tricked. The way well, they say your brain works like a hard drive. It stores information, though, even though you may not consciously remember stuff. When your brain becomes open to suggestion, it can go back and, like, you know, crimes, you can remember things that you didn't remember from before. What so. kind of fucking research did Peel do to think this was... Uh, I don't know. It's like, a, it's just like, when you watch this movie, you're like, and if you didn't know who made it, and then somebody told you, oh, you know, the guy from Key and Peel, you'd be like, you like no, no way. no way. But That's it is a- funny. The funny parts are really funny. So, it, you know. I, before the movie uh, started, me and uh, <laughs> me and Sean were, I showed him a, a clip of, of a Key and Peel sketch. I remind him of an old clip and uh, of the. The serial killer, I guess, with the detective who was trying to hunt him down in the the House of Mirrors. Yeah, it was a comedy sketch. But if you go back to those shows and look at all the times they tra- they did a little funny horror thing, it was a lot of those skits were real well done. I wonder if they did those themselves, the directed. I'm sure. Some of those. I'm sure they were having fun. I'm sure, with Jordan it. probably did. Uh, like the the uh, Gupta, the doctor with the baby, that the, the the little boy that was dying, that, that said all that terrible stuff. Uh, remember that skit? Mm hmm. Like, the little dying boy would make a wish. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! yeah. yeah I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How he was a devil child. Yeah, <laughs> see, see, that's. I want to hold you. I want to say something. I want to hold you till you. you yeah, bubble stop I want to hold you under the water until the bubble stop. <laughs> yeah. and then I want to suck your last breath out of you. But yeah. he's like, you're a devil child. You said anything that I wanted. Yeah, I was. I mean, I mean, I'm telling you, I think Jordan. They're, br- they're pretty brilliant. I they're think he's brilliant. the one who came up with all that stuff. But you know what? We're we're rambling on. But uh, overall, at the end of it. I'm like I don't, I don't want to give away the total end, but I mean, even though hypnosis was the thing that played the the major there's a part, catalyst. there's still something else that you don't see coming. 
that uh, that's incorporated. I didn't. I didn't guess it either. I thought the hypnosis was the. You end just kind of see the broad picture. Yeah. But then when they delve into it deeper, it, you're like, oh. The hypnosis was what stage two or was it stage one? I guess. Well, stage one was finding the black stage guy. Stage one was <laughs> prepping his. It's a three stage process to an unknown thing. You'll have to watch the yeah, movie. We're the not first stage is he gets thing. hypnotized and it preps the brain. Second is suggestibility mm-hmm. and more, and then we'll, we'll let you guys figure out the rest of it. But Brian, Brian Williams' daughter from Girls. I mean, I I I, I love her as an actress. I like. I'm starting to like her more and more. I I hate that show, but it's one of those shows that I hate, but I can't stop watching. I love, I, I hate it so much, I keep watching it. Now it's more because of the guy from uh, Star Wars that's in it now. I used to hate him, but now, Adam, he, was Adam driver, driver now. Yeah. now he's my favorite dude. Ugh. So, but I think he's better than that. Suggestibility. Show. That's it's, why it's you him. like that's him. That's <laughs> him. It's all about him. But but she is also um, a devious. close second, and she's, she's uh, devious. She, yeah, she she I, she's a good actress, man. She made you believe it. When the when key thing, the key thing, you'll see what I'm talking about. The second she s- just instantly just showed that, that, that her ha ha moment, yeah, we, yeah, we got you. Oh, when she showed her hand, I was like, You fucking great actress, man. Because I couldn't, I didn't know. I'm like, Is she him? Is she? I thought that maybe the mother was pulling the strings, right? No, you know, you're all they're all in on it. But what kind of a crazy person would you have to be to be in this situation to come? Is she attracted to black people, or is she just mentally like hunting them down, like doing this evil thing and getting She's her, okay her with fetish it. out I, I, the way? Well, I yeah, guess? it kind of implies it, but it's just saying that she she knows that physically they will live, I guess, genetically because they kept they, mentioning genetic they're talking disposition. about speed and strength. And yeah, all that so stuff. they live it's the an, It's an admiration. It's a sick admiration thing that that uh, and black is fashionable now. Like yeah, there were there were there was all these weird shit, weird yeah. comments that were. But just you don't like, pick up on it, right? Pick, that was part of the the horror of it, the uncomforted. I think that was something uh, brilliant that, that Peel uh, put into this movie, that the horror of that uncomfortable race tension moment that we all go through. Not just black people. That Even the laughing experience. is like, ah, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. <laughs> Do I laugh at this? Why yeah. am I laughing? <laughs> Why can't? I'm laughing too much at that. You know, it's like, like, even those were kind of uncomfortable. And, I mean, I don't know. I just, I just, I feel like he captured, and you know what? And he's biracial, so I'm sure. Both him and, uh. Both of them are yeah, black. Yeah, both the black key and peel are, yeah. So, I'm, I'm sure that, that, that that's. Part of the reason behind their genius is the fact that they can. The Chappelle they, effect, they can, they can make tap. fun of everything. As a black man, <laughs> totally Chappelle was able to tap into it perfectly, but these guys lived it, and you know, so this, that, that's, um, that's, I, I can't wait to see another. If they, if you say that Jordan Peele is writing or directing a movie, I don't care what it is, I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, I'm, absolutely. I, I, I think with one punch, he's, he's gotten himself in the door. And this was so much better than Keanu was. It's like he's way, he's, he's, he's like, he's like, he was having fun with Keanu, and it's funny. But then they're like, all right, I want to make a serious movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I want to make a serious movie. Door. And they're like, yeah. all right, go Shows for you. it. I, and I think that the, what they did on the TV show opened those doors. I heard that while they were doing the TV shows, they were simultaneously just making friends and just showing that we're nice guys or whatever. Making connections. And just yeah, making those connections and marketing themselves perfectly <clears> to uh, where everybody loved them. <laughs> Nobody had much of a bad thing. They to say better about give it. him like a three or four picture deal out of this to be like, all right, uh, you well, pick the topics, you write them, uh, we'll finance them, and we'll Blum collect houses, the what, you, what do you think? More horror from this guy, or just anything? Just see what he can do. I don't. I, I, I would say that give him like a a, a drama next. You know, give, give him give him some give, serious. Give him a serious topic. So don't so don't try to master one genre. See right. No. No. Do, because, do, do you know one what? of each he, he and then come comedy, back to so it. Yeah. We already we know, know he, can comedy, he can do comedy. So now that we know he can knock out horror, we know he can do horror. That means, yeah. So uh, okay, drama, I agree with you. At drama. first, I was thinking or stick a, with horror. I would say thriller, but this was kind of a. It was kind of a thriller. So in a way, he kind of has done it. It's kind of a good drama. Give him like a give him also like a big big name serious guy. I mean, fuck, I don't know. Like, I'm not saying specifically, but give him like a Robert De Niro or Al Pacino type actor, like a serious guy. And let him do like a serious, serious. Ooh, maybe even I like a taboo to be topic. On that set, you know, has him as the director cracking everybody up, yeah, making jokes and shit. Yeah, give that him, way. give him a triple A. I mean, I mean, maybe even like use like Denzel or Bradley Cooper or something. Give him, give him a big name you know, to work oh, with. Oh wow, if he directed a Denzel, dude, what would that look like? That would be awesome. Ooh. Peel like like just make like, a World War One movie just, with with Jordan Peel with you know with with a bunch of different people maybe even the same black guy that brought the comedy effect has to do the same thing for all of his movies. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, the bring, same bring TSA, playing, the, the TSA. playing the same TSA TS character. TS motherfucking. Uh, I, you know what? And um, that's how we're gonna end this. Uh, I'm mm. gonna say I have grown to have a new respect for TSA. So TS motherfucking A. TS motherfucking A. Well, okay, so all right, uh, I know I got to get my ass home now. So uh, overall, love the movie. Let us know what you guys think after you see it. After, if you don't care about spoilers, you know, leave that comment. Let's talk about it, and uh, let me know if you're gonna go check it out. If you like this, hit the like button. We appreciate all the guys that comment, like, and subscribe.
become a subscriber if you haven't hit that subscribe button already. And until next time, we're going to see you guys at the next screen, man. Peace. TSA. TSA motherfucking eight.